I always tell people take screenshots of things as you're doing them, and I've been taking some screenshots of my results um, with trading um, using the options domination uh, model, platform. okay, and, and platform. the platform, the platform, and it's it's been very very exciting, very very exciting, and, and before I had never done this, okay, and I've been doing this for about what 45 days at the most, right? It's probably closer to 30. And it, I went from um, doing a lot of $5 trades, um, and you'll see here how I kind of progressed, and, and I still go back and forth, but okay. the results can we, have... Can we clarify something? Can Sorry. we clarify why you're doing $5 trades? It's because we yeah. are trying to pretend like Kevin is the average person. Yes. He doesn't have money. He's just trying to make money right now. He doesn't know about how to do any of this stuff. eBay has banned him. Amazon hates him. He's overseas. His credit cards are banned. What can he possibly do in life? That's why he does $5 trades. <laughs> yes. So, so exactly. Way. So when we when we started doing this, um, we I did it from a standpoint of somebody who, let's say, they only had you know not a lot of money to to start out with, um, not a lot of money to get going with, and wanted to ramp up an account and see how we could do with this. And um, to be honest, my first couple of trades were were not so good until I until I went back to the training and saw something I missed and said, whoa, okay, I missed that. And um, you know, four trades in, it was it was Win City. So here here's some snapshot of my trades, guys. And I've I've made sure that um, you know whenever I take snapshots, I love seeing losses because it kind of gives you an idea of the averages. But these are all five dollar trades, and what you're seeing here is five dollars right here is the investment, and here's the payout, eight dollars and fifty cents. Can you guys all see that? And you'll see one, 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 one. That means I made three dollars and fifty cents every single time. Now there's a couple losses here, all right. But these are 15 trades, 15 trades, and out of those 15 trades, I'm winning on average 12 to 13 out of 15 trades, guys. That is insane. Um, I've never seen anything like that before. Never seen anything like that before. So let me move on and show you some more. This is actually another uh, snapshot. We got another loss in here and a tie, but overall, we got 13 wins out of 15 trades. Those numbers are astronomical. Check this out. This is actually, um, I had, I had, a, I was on a kick where I wanted to get um, actually uh, 101 trades in a row where I had spent $5 and made $3.50 100 times in a row without losing. I couldn't do it, but I got to somewhere around 60. Uh, which is still very impressive before I lost my first trade on that run. So insanity, guys. But there's a lot of you that are going to want to ramp things up, and I'll, I'll show you this. All right, so here we go. We're ramping it up to $20 trades, okay? We have $20 trades. There's a couple ties in here. Let me see if there's a loss on this one. There's no loss here. I tried to make sure I included losses, Hitesh. Okay. Yeah, All right. I see that. Sorry about that. So $20 trade, $14 <laughs> in profit, okay? So on this page right here, um, we've got 13 wins and two ties, which means I'm not out anything. I didn't lose anything. That ever, I just tied on it, okay? So that's 13 trades. Guys, that's $182 um, in, this, in this trading span of, what, an hour or so? If you look at the timestamp on here, it's about an hour-ish. Let's move on. Let's take a look at some more. Okay, so I got a couple losses here, and this spans – check this out. This spans actually like 15 minutes of trading, okay? 15 minutes of trading. Can you guys see this, the timestamp on here? 0524, and then I move up to 0544. So what are you going to do with that? It's like 20 minutes, right? And let's take a look at the profits here. I've got – by the way, if, if, if you guys don't understand what's going on here, that's totally fine. This is a marketing strategy where we completely confuse people first, and then we try explaining what it is, and then you're like, oh, these people are amazing. They explain this really complex thing to me. So that's really what we're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is $182 in profits that I made, um, and I'm sorry my dog sneezed in the background. There's $189 in profits um, that I made here in like 20 minutes, and this is really to kind of show you guys what – what is possible with this? Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, videos coming out and a lot of things coming out of me showing you more on this. But just know we've got uh, we've got a trading platform in place that actually 
works. I like this snapshot too, because I've got some losses in here, but these are, let me go back, these are $50 trades, right? So if I make a $50 trade, I actually, if I, if I win that trade and I'm correct, saying that the market's gonna go up or the market's gonna go down, and when I say I'm correct, what I mean is I look at, I look at my signals, I look at my signals, and if it says one, if it okay. says trade, don't, I trade. Don't confuse them with signals because then they won't understand what signals mean. Let's let's go back and explain a little bit what's really going on. Okay, what trading even means first. What basically is happening is you see those flags over there, those those flags of this world uh, of different nations. That's over there showing what currencies are being traded. Okay, but we're not doing forex trading. Okay, we're not doing actual forex trading. What we're doing is we're doing binary option trading where essentially we are predicting whether the market, whether the price is going to be above a certain point or below a certain point in the near future. So when you see that word put with the red arrow, that's basically Kevin saying that in a certain period of time, let's say five minutes from now, this particular currency pair is going to be lower than what it is at this point. And you see that when he's correct, he says he puts $50 and when he's correct, he makes $85. So he's not having to deal with buying a currency and then waiting for the price changes and putting in stop losses and making a trade on that and stuff. That's not what's going on here. This is a very, very, very simplistic version of it. It's basically called binaries because you only have two options. Okay. Now, like all other things in life, um, this requires some navigation through it. Okay, because there are a lot of people who try trading and a lot of people who lose money doing it, just like a lot of people try to do e-commerce and they lose money doing it, or try to make money online and they lose money doing it, until you have a very, very good system and a platform that makes sure that you're actually going to be successful. Okay, now there are three ways to make sure that you're successful. The first one is to make sure that you're winning majority of the time. That's basically what Kevin is showing you. He's showing you that majority of the time, he's winning. He's winning like 80% or more of the time, actually more like... 90 for the sake of simplicity and you know conservatism so if you're winning 80 percent of the time then you're going to be successful because as long as you're making the same volume of trade then you're going to be successful with a, with a profitable win rate like that that's the first thing the second thing is this is this is the fun part okay so follow along with us on this and this is why we didn't launch this in the beginning why we had to wait until this moment okay what if we could make it so that you could trade but not with your own money which means when you won you got to keep the money but when you lost you didn't lose your money yes would that not be pretty much insane and that is pretty much we are trying to set up for you guys with this and when i say trying to set it up for you it's more like it's already been set up we're already running some tests on it this is what kevin is showing you he's been running a test on this um, actually, Kev, I'm going to give you the link to my account screenshot quick here if you want to share that with people. Um, there. I just put it in the chat in the box within GoToWebinar if you want to click, click on that. Uh, uh, um, you can open that on the screen. And, and let me clarify a few other things. This is not going to be um, – and what, what Kevin was showing you was $5 accounts and things like that. Here's uh, one of my accounts, as you can see. That's, that's one of my accounts there. With the hundred and thirty thousand dollars, I obviously don't do five dollar trades. I do different level trades, but I'm not a good test subject because I've done this before. So that's why Kevin is a great test subject because he's doing it the way that everybody else would be doing it as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are have basically come to is a point where you guys can trade. You can do it without risk. You can do it purely with profits. And um, while you are doing this and making money with this you will also be making money on the affiliate side, which is the other reason why we're talking about it on this webinar, okay? So, Kevin isn't the only person that has been trained on this. There are a few other people that we have walked this through, walked through the strategy and the, and the training and things like that. And we have basically made it completely, completely hands-free. All you guys have to do is one or two things. Get on a webinar and we get on a webinar together and we make money together on the webinar. It'd be like this. It'd be like if you got on a webinar and we all put up items for sale on eBay and we all sold the items for sale on eBay while we were still we made money. Okay, that's basically what we're aiming to do. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing that we're trying to do that we're, that we're aiming for is trying to make it completely hands-free for you guys. Okay, because uh, we all know how much people love automated stuff. I don't think anybody else love, loves automation as much as I do. So we're trying to make it hands-free. And there's nobody in this world who loves risk-free stuff 
as much as Roger does. So we are trying to make it completely risk free for you guys as well. So on the product side of things, you basically only have to guess is the market value of this particular currency pair, like you see there, USD JPY, those are the flags of United States and Japan, is the USD JPY pair going to be cheaper or, or more expensive? Is, is the price value going to be higher or lower five minutes from now or a minute from now? Okay? And that's exactly what Kevin is doing there. So he said the value is going to be less than what it is right now in one minute. You see that it was 103.724. And then it changed to 103.721 when the market closed exactly one minute later. You see that's 2 o'clock and 8 minutes and 13 seconds. Then it closes at 2 o'clock and 9 minutes and 13 seconds. And he basically made $350 in that one minute period. Okay? So in that 60 seconds, he made $350. Um, the one below that, he also made $350 in 60 seconds. Um, and the one below that, he made $350 in five minutes. Okay, um, as you can see, they were all done on the same day. Um, actually, they were day, this was on 28th, and the other two were on the 29th, so day before yesterday. And that's basically what this whole new thing is. It's like one of those things that people haven't heard about. It's kind of like the Genesis app, or even eBay in some ways. If you ask the average person who's shopping at Walmart, you go to them and you show them the G Genesis app, and you go, "Hey, did you know that you can make money while you're shopping here?" They're going to be like, what? No. Like, obviously, they don't know. 99.9% .9 of the people don't know about it. This is one of those things. 99% of the people out there just don't know about it. And those who do know about it usually don't have the right approach and strategy to it, exactly how DST works. People who do know about eBay and selling don't know about all the ins and outs and all the tricks to it. And those who do know all the ins and outs and the tricks to it, they don't have the power of the entire platform like we have in DST. So, that is basically what options domination is. It's the next step beyond DS domination because in DS domination, you're still exchanging time for money. And here we're going to be exchanging money for money, hopefully some money for a lot more money. And that's what options domination does. Okay, now we'll have a whole other session about how options work and what options are and all that good stuff. We can talk about that. It's, it's fun financial stuff. Uh, but I think the more pertinent question is going to be, how is this stuff going to work? How do we make it risk-free for you? How quickly do we get paid out on this? When do we get started with this and so on? And of course, how does DST fit into this whole picture? So here's how DST fits into this whole picture. We are going to be importing everybody who, who is in DS domination. We are going to be passing, we're going to be importing all of you guys into this new options domination system where we actually have not just a product where you make money without recruiting, you also make money without recruiting on the compensation plan, okay? And if you have, if you were on the webinar in July, I we kind of went over it and I showed you guys some of the numbers that we had projected. But basically, we're going to have a compensation plan that's never been done before in history, where everybody in the company actually does receive some payout every single month. And it's possible to make a lot of money without recruiting, but if you do recruit, if you if you do actively go out there and an affiliate, then you make a lot more money. Again, though, I want to emphasize. You do not need to at all even think about the affiliate side with this because you can purely be making money just on the member side, just on the product side, exactly how we have it in DSD automation right now. Okay? Now, um, the risk free trades that I mentioned is basically a system that it's basically something that we have been able to negotiate because of the massive power that we have right now. Uh, we have been able to negotiate certain things with uh, different brokers out there. All of the brokers that we work with are completely regulated and compliant, and so we have no problem with that at all. And uh, we've, we've actually been able to negotiate something called risk-free trades for you guys. Okay, And it's going to allow you guys to take some trades without risking your actual money. Okay, you, when, when you see this, that... Um, Kevin took a trade with a hundred dollar investment and got a payout of 170 you will actually be able to take a hundred dollar trade but if you lost that trade you would not lose the hundred dollars okay now that's not going to happen forever it's going to be for a short time but the primary thing there is this if you could take let's say four risk-free trades with a hundred dollars you could make a potential 280 dollars and you would not have to actually risk your money at all Okay, and you could just pull that out, you could pull your $100 back out, and then you can go ahead and just trade with the $280 that you made. Okay, that's basically what we had Kevin doing. That's why he was doing all those $5 trades, because he wanted to see what would happen with the $5 trades, if he could do it with short, with very small volumes. So, 
Um, to summarize all of this is we have a new thing which makes sure that you make money without having to recruit anybody on the customer side, without having to make any sales, without having to do anything else, okay? On the affiliate side, who's, who's interested about hearing about the affiliate side? Because if, if like 95% of people on this webinar are purely just our customers, then I don't want to even talk about the affiliate side. But yeah. if you're interested about the affiliate side and trying to understand it, we'll go over that a bit. Real, real quick, Hitesh, before you move into that, I want to say this. So the, uh, you guys usually, um, if, you, if you talk to me, if you see me on a webinar, if you see a video of mine, I'm pretty low-key. It takes, it takes a lot to get me excited about anything. It takes a lot because I've been in this industry for a while, I've seen so many things, we've done so many things, it takes a lot to get me excited about a product. And I haven't been this excited in I don't know how long. It is, it's, my excitement level for this is insane. And I'll tell you, these $5 trades that I love to take, the, re the real reason why I love to take these is one, it simulates what, you, what the, the person can do walking into this if they have a small budget, okay? But two, more importantly, for me, it's, it's scalable. Whenever you're doing a business model, the, one of the first things you want to look at, is this business model scalable? Meaning, can I do something on a small level and get those same results on a big level? Can I make this and ramp this up to a giant business? And if you can, and with this business model, yes, you can. You can take $5 trades and you can take $500 trades. That is a scalable business model. So if you're winning on the micro level, you can go win on the macro level. And if you see this, this $500 trades right here, this is this is like $500 um, worth of profit in a matter of, um, of of minutes. So I can't stress how how just revolutionary this product will be once we bring it to the market. Number one, but number two, this is a scalable business model. You can always take it bigger. You can always have a bigger business over time with this business model. And you can't say that for every other industry that's out there. We have caps on us, we have limitations as people. But with this, your limitations, and for the most part, are removed. You can do $5 trades or $500 trades. You can make $100, or you can make $10,000 in that same period. All right, so let me turn it back over to you, Tash. And, uh, but that is something that, that has got me very excited. No, hold on, don't turn, it, don't, don't turn it over to me yet. Yet. Don't turn it over to me yet because I suspect that my internet is going in and out. So I don't know if people will actually be able to follow what I'm doing. Well, I meant verbally. See, could you hear me just now when I said that? <laughs> yeah, so we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. See, yeah, okay, there, there's, there's like cutting out on my side. Okay. Um, we definitely want to go over the affiliate side as well. But let me address a very quick question. There's nothing mathematical about this. Um, it's actually so so simple that there's literally no math in fact there's more math involved in DSD right now because you have to calculate your profit margins and you have to calculate your fees and stuff there is nothing like that in this so this is easier in that regard but it is the next step up okay what th what that means is DSD you can come in with basically no money at all and start doing it and start making money but um, with this you do require a some beginning deposit okay now We'll go into all those specifics later because I don't want to distract from the reality, which is, for now, the big giant thing is to focus on getting a lead, getting supremacy, scaling up your genesis and everything else, and getting that automated, okay? The reason why we are, I'm so like, we need to get supremacy out is because supremacy will help you automate a lot of your business. It will help you keep your follow-ups going. It's going to make sure that you're making money on that side and that, that that business needs to keep scaling up by itself so you can actually focus on this at the same time, okay? This is going to happen after September 30th for sure, okay? If you're not going to release this until then, there's no way we're going to release it until then because that's when the deadlines for supremacy end and that's when the deadline for everything else ends, okay? So it's going to happen after the 30th of September for sure. Okay, we're going to announce a very specific date for you guys. Now that we have our case studies done, we have our test results, we have all that good stuff. We wanted to make sure everybody could do this. Um, we are going to put it out there uh, sometime in October then. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about the affiliate side of this because that's the other reason why we are sharing this with you guys right now. Okay, the reason we're sharing this with you guys right now is because we want to make sure that our affiliates 
and potential affiliates understand. And I said this back in July as well. I said, right now is the time you guys who have not become affiliates and are not building an affiliate business right now, you really should consider start doing that right now because in the near future, you're going to release something that will completely change the landscape in terms of how much money you can make as an affiliate. And the reason for that is options domination. The reason is we're going to import everybody from DS domination into the system and when we import them in, we are going to preserve who referred whom in DS domination. So if you referred 100 people into DS domination, you are going to keep those 100 people as your genealogy in options domination as well. Okay, and the way options domination, the affiliate payout is set up, you're going to make a whole lot more money and all of the people, those 100 people are going to make a whole lot more money, not just from the product itself, but also from the affiliate side of it. Um, Kev, do you want to start drawing the thing? And am I still coming in clear or is it cutting out? You're coming in pretty clear. You're coming in perfect. If you want to okay, beautiful. Go for then, it. Okay, then I'll just go ahead. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do this. All right. So let's do this thing. Um, okay, so in options nomination, we decided to do something um, unique, which is kind of the thing that we do best, unique things. Uh, we have a donut addict and a guy with a very strong Indian accent and a person from Japan who has dogs sneezing in the background as the owners of the company. So we always do kind of things that are out there. So here's one of the out there things that we came up with this time. The out there thing is what is going to be called the tri-matrix or reversed inverted flipped income system. That is obviously a very un unofficial name because that doesn't sound cool at all. That's a kind of something like that Roger would come up with. Like it's like Genesis Easy. Okay. <laughs> I knew that so, was coming. <laughs> all right, there you go. Uh, I'm glad you can preempt my strikes now. So here's what what happens in options domination. Um, it's going to be a little little tricky. So just follow along and you will understand. So right now in DS domination, let's say that you come into DS domination and you refer 10 people and then they refer five people each, you know, that's what happens. You're going to have 10 people on your level one, then you're going to have 50 people on your level two. That's not what happens in options domination. In options domination, the structure is kind of set up like this, okay? It's a forced three by three matrix, okay? That means that there are, the whole company structure is like this. And here's how that plays out. Let's say this is a person named A, okay? And this kind, gentle person named A refers a person named B, okay? That's where B goes. Then B refers C. Now in usual sense, in, in the common sense systems of the world, or the used and abused and often redone systems of the world, when B refers C, C goes in this position, right? Under B. But in options domination, what happens is that C, instead of going under B, goes in the next available spot in the company, which happens to be here, okay? It's not under B, it's actually the next open spot in the company. Then let's say that B also refers D, and then D goes in the next available spot in the company. Okay, just follow along. If you're an affiliate, some of you might grasp this a lot easier if you have, you know, history of working in companies, but watch what happens here, though. Okay, let's say that then we have a mixed bag, you know, different people are referring people, A, B, C, D are all referring people. Let's say they refer E, F, G, H, I, what comes after I? Sorry, J, K, sorry, I'm in India, I forgot my alphabet, L, M. Okay, here's what happens, A is going to get $1.00 per person in this matrix, okay, regardless of who referred them, okay? So A in this case is going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dollars right away per month per person. B is going to get 3, C is going to get 3, D is going to get 3. It doesn't matter who referred everybody, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't refer, matter if A referred nobody beyond B. And it doesn't matter if A even referred B. B might have been referred by somebody else above A in the company. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, here's what happens. Okay, there is no real low priority and things like that in here. Everybody's just going to make money. Now, here is the clear mathematical issue. Okay, everybody who has any common sense will see this immediately. Fine, A made a bunch of money. 
But what about all these guys at the bottom? What about these nine people? They're not going to make anything, right? That's the problem that we're trying to address because the people at the bottom in any company always are going to not make any money because that's just, that's just how all the systems are set up, okay? So what we have here is a three by seven matrix. That means everything goes seven levels deep. So this is A and here is, is level one, level two, level three, level four. So A is level one has three people. Level two has nine people. Level three is going to have 27, then 81, then 243, then 729, and then 2187, okay? Those are going to be the total number of people in A's matrix, okay? Now imagine the whole company. The whole company is going to be set up like this as well. There's going to be the one top account that's going to be the admin account. That will be for the owners of the company. And then there's going to be three accounts for affiliates, and then there's going to be more accounts and more accounts and more accounts. The whole company is going to be set up like that. The problem over here is that these people, the 21,000, the 2100 people are never going to make any money in a typical company. So here's what happens. At the same time that this matrix exists, we call this M1, there's a second matrix that exists, okay, that's called M2. And M2 is an exact opposite, it's a flipped or an inverted system compared to M1. So the guys at the bottom in these 2187 people, we actually begin with them. So in the next matrix, M is going to be at the top and then A is going to be at the bottom. That makes sure that actually these people who are at the, at the, top, at the bottom are going to be making some money as well. And M2 is the same way. It's one dollar per person per month, okay? Again, that means that now M is going to be making $12 a month while A is also making $12 a month even though neither one of them have recruited many people at all, okay? Given the math behind it, there are too many people, okay? The 2,100 people here, and it's, it's not going to be sufficient to flip it once. So then we do a second thing. Then we create a third matrix at the same time. I understand this is complex and, and confusing and all that good stuff. Just, just focus on what the result, the end result of all of this, you know, gymnastic is. What happens is in M3, then we look at who are the people so far, okay, lowest income from M1 plus M2 combined. Who are the people who are in that order? And then we create a new matrix, the M3, in that ascending order, okay? The lowest income goes first and then people go down from there, okay? Now, the obvious question becomes, what does A then get for referring B, okay? Here's what A gets for referring B. A gets a fixed income per month, just like in DSD, you know, when you refer somebody in DSD, you get a fixed income per month for having referred them. So fixed income per month is the first thing that A is gonna get on B, and then also, a will also receive 25% matching income bonus. So whatever B makes, A is going to get a 25% matching bonus. And then he's going to get 10% on the next level, and he's going to get 5% on the next level. So let's say A referred B, and in the giant scheme of things, from the three matrices combined, B made $100. A is going to get $25 as well. And then let's say B referred C, and C in the giant scheme of things from M1, M2, and M3 combined made $60. A is also going to get $6 from that. Here's what it basically means. When you refer somebody and they make money, you basically make money as well, okay? And the way this is set up, because these three matrices and everybody being flipped around like that, everybody in the company makes at least something, okay? Everybody in the company is gonna make at least something. All right, so I, I would love to show you a spreadsheet right now. It was kind of unplanned, so I don't have my spreadsheet open. We have 110,000 people in the entire company, okay? And here's what it basically means. When we have 110,000 people in the entire company, the lowest income earner in the company makes $11 every month, okay? So that is the idea behind this. They're going to be, just like in DSD, you have pro, elite, and multiple different products, and you get paid commissions based on that. In options domination, there are just three products, okay? There's uh, one product for 49 a month, there's another product for $199 a month, $149 a month, and then we have a third product for $399 a month, okay? You only choose one of the three, and here's what happens with each product. Depending on which product you get, you get a certain number of signals per day. Now, signals are basically a service where we look at the trade and we tell you automatically, you need to go and take this trade. For example, like you saw with Kevin's screenshot, hey, in the next five minutes, you should take this trade, that the USD JPY is going to go down. That's all you do. You just literally go and click a button that says it will go down. 
That's it. You don't analyze anything. You don't figure out anything else. And you just follow those trades. That's how signals work. Okay? With 149, you get more. Then with 399, you get more. And then depending on which level you are on, as an affiliate, you also earn a very significant amount of income. Okay? It's a totally different amount of income based on which level you're on. And I, I, I don't want to give too many specifics because I feel like the more specifics we give, the more we distract from what's at hand. What's at hand is that right now, you guys need to get elite, get supremacy, automate that whole business, make it huge so you can move on over and when you're, then you can focus on this while that's running itself. Okay? And while this is running itself, you can very easily be making a lot of money in here. And then I'll explain how a risk-free thing works. Now, beyond this, Again, imagine this DSD. You join DSD for twenty dollars a month. Okay, that's like this. You join for twenty dollars a month. You get training and software and, and a system that shows you how to sell. This is what's going to happen here. You get a training and software and system that shows you how to trade. Okay, and then when you go to eBay and you start selling an item, you basically use your cash flow to source to source products and you use your cash flow to make listings on eBay. The same thing happens at a broker. Okay, a broker is where or a brokerage platform is where you're going to make these trades. And what we have done for you is because of our reach now and because of the accounts, like the account that you saw with more than 100,000 and so on, what we're able to do is negotiate with these brokers and say, hey, listen, we know behind the scenes how much money you guys are making. Okay? Kind of like what happens when, when Roger you know, approaches a company, he says, hey, listen, we, we represent DS Domination, we make all this money, we have all these members, what can you offer us in terms of cash back? And we're able to work out deals for you guys. It's the same thing here. Okay, we approach these people and we say, hey, let's make a deal. We're going to figure something out for our members. So what we've been able to figure out for you guys as part of that thing is what is called risk-free trades. So, for example, you, you will fund your account, your, your brokerage account, with a certain amount of money. Let's say $200. It could be whatever amount. You could have $20,000 if you wanted to as well. There's, like Kevin said, the scalability is very easy here. But let's say you, you started your account with $200 or $500. You're going to get a certain number of risk-free trades. And that just means you're going to take the trade. If you lose, your money gets put back in your account. If you win, you get to keep the profit. Okay? There is really nothing more simple than that. Right? It's like, it's like doing the domination. We said to you, hey, listen, the first 10 products you list on eBay, if you don't sell, we give you all your money back, and we give you the money back for the eBay sales as well, the eBay listing fee. And if you take, and by the way, if you sell and you make a significant profit, you get to keep the profit. Okay, it's like basically risk-free. So when I said it's risk-free trades, that's exactly what it's called. It's, it's a very compliant definition of it. This is not like a risk for us to say this because that's exactly what it is. It's totally a risk-free trade for you guys. Okay, so you will be able to take a trade. Let's say for a, let's say for a hundred dollars, you take a trade. If you win, you are going to get seventy dollars to seventy-five dollars to up to eighty dollars in profit. Okay, win equals eighty dollar in profit. Okay? Law Law's loss equals dollar zero in losses. Okay? I don't understand how anybody could not see that that is amazing. Because once you start doing that, now remember you don't do this forever. You do this in the beginning. We do this in the beginning. Obviously a bro brokerage platform is not going to work with us if we say, listen, we want to just make sure that you just never make any money with our members. That's not what they want. Um, so they're going to give a certain number of risk free trades and here is the idea. You take these risk-free trades and you make some profit. Let's say that we made $300 in profit taking these trades. Okay, let's say we took $300 in profit. So you initially put in your $500. You've just made $300 in profit. Go ahead and withdraw your $500 back out, and all your future trading will be done with this $300. That's it. From that moment on, you will never risk any capital because you've already pulled out what you're already deposited. Okay, so from this point on, you're going to trade just with that 300 bucks. And that's why you saw all those five dollar trades with Kevin. You're gonna take small trades, five dollar trades, ten dollar trades in the beginning, and you're gonna build up your level until you're moving to higher trades, you know, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, and so on. Okay? That is the the beauty behind this whole system. And of course, on top of that, we do have things like we have the cash or offers in DS Tomlich because you don't have those kind of options for you as well. So you can have more of that money available to you if you need it. Um, basically the best non-risk thing that I have seen that we have done and we've seen awesome success with this. I've had days where I've done multiple four figures, not saying that everybody is going to do that. And that's the test that we did. We took that system, Kevin tested it, made great money with that. We've had three or four other people do it. 
great, made great money with that. Um, I think overall this is very exciting and you just have to think of this, think of it like this. DS domination is your business, okay? That's where you're going to make money by exchanging effort or labor ideas. That domination is going to make money by taking the money from step one, which is DS domination, and letting that multiply itself, okay? And hence the term monetary mitosis, okay? So, Hopefully this explains everything. Kev, if you want to like maybe share some of your insights on uh, your experiences with trading and, and what happened. Really the biggest thing is you guys have to not get greedy. That's I think the biggest factor. If you're not greedy about this, it works beautifully. Yeah, it is. That is actually, it's funny because um, on on Friday I had, um, <clears throat> I made over $2,000 doing this and I did nothing different than when I made $35 trading on my $5 trades, right? I just scaled it up. So it was super, super, super exciting. I mean, it's just take bigger trades. Um, the win ratio is still the same. All things still stay the same uh, because of the system. So love it. I mean, uh, it, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, like Hitesh said, DS domination, you know, it's, it's your job, right? You put a lot of effort in to get the results out and it's a very high paying, high paying job. And this is, this is something that goes a little, uh, beyond the job portion. Now, for those of you who are the affiliates who, who are in marketing and who are doing all this stuff with marketing, here's what's exciting. Um, in the past, and Hitesh has, Hitesh has done this, Roger's done this, I've done this, any successful marketer uh, has pretty much done this. You have multiple offers, multiple income streams of things that you offer to your prospects. Because if you had 100 people come onto your, your list and look at DS domination, you might only have 5% that ever take that offer, and that's still a profitable business. So what do you do with the rest of those folks? You transition into options. You have another thing to offer them, a second thing to offer them as an affiliate. So for those of you who are on the marketing side who love that world, who love doing those things, having something else that is very, very profitable for anyone you put in there, um, to anyone you recruit to, having that second thing to promote alongside of DS domination, to me is priceless. To me is priceless. I've never promoted just one thing until DS, right? And now we have something else that you can you'll be able to promote side by side with that. So I'm 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 just excited about this all the way around. Um, you know, from the the, the five dollar trades all the way up to the five hundred dollar trades, uh, money's being made. Um, I didn't do this. You know, 45 days ago I wasn't making trades. And I'm able to have a $2,000 day, you know, I could have done that much earlier if I wanted to, but I, I wanted to, to test it out as if I was, you know, coming in here with a, with just a couple hundred dollars to invest, right? And then recoup that money and then proceed on from there with my profits. So that's what I did. And these, those are the results, guys. This is just something that it's going to change the landscape as we see it. I mean, DS Domination has, we've been a company um, that has uh, kind of changed the industry in a lot of ways and put it out there that these traditional business models where the top 1% make money we think that's a bunch of a bunch of bs and we've we've shown that that model right there that 1% earning an income is not where it's at ds domination is where it's at because we have so many members making money and now we're extending that even further uh, you guys are going to make even more money with this you're going to be able to do this with ds domination Obviously, we're still going to make some insane upgrades with DS Domination because this is our, our baby. But options can, is going to run simultaneously side by side with that. And, and Hitesh, I wanted, I wanted you to let them know real quick um, that and, – and just to clarify this, uh, we are not – Roger, Kevin, and Hitesh are not the owners of Options Domination. Do you want to, you want to talk about that for a second, Hitesh? Yes. I, actually, I was going to talk about that in a, in a second because I was going to address a couple of things really quickly. Um, why we are so open about all of this stuff. Um, okay, other than the fact that this is all illegal, it's pretty good. No, I'm kidding. This is obviously <laughs> illegal. That's <laughs> fine. Um, okay, one of the reasons why we are very excited about this and the reason why we can, why we are talking so openly about it on a webinar with, with the ST people is because um, since we're not the owners of the actual company, the companies that are involved in making all of this happen in the background, making all the negotiations work and the, and the uh, income distribution and things like that, all of this that, that's 
working in the in the background we are not the guys doing that okay obviously we have some connections i am coding it for them as well that's that's a contractual thing but the point is behind the scenes is that there are different owners okay one of them is a very lovable wonderful person known as jason rose that you guys know about um we're going to actually have him on a webinar as well he would have been on here today but he's traveling but what basically happens in this structure is we are not owners so we're actually able to behave and we're actually able to run the whole thing like one of you guys in this thing so we're not like dsd guys now saying to you hey look we're the owners let's tell you what's going on here we're more like we're the options guy we're doing this with you okay we are we're alongside you so when we build out things from an affiliate perspective to promote this and so on we're very happy to share that with everybody in dsd and part of the reason why we have been given this privilege of being the first people to present this and share this is because when everybody from DS domination gets imported in here and brought in and we're, we're all going to get a chance to join this and upgrade in here and, and get the top positions and so on and we do a complete very detailed breakdown of how this will play out okay um, when all of that stuff happens it basically gives DST members the very top positions it gives us the first shot at everything it gives us the, the top placements and everything uh, basically make sure that when M1 from the first matrix the DSC members are already going to be profitable okay so that's going to be one of the good things now that's actually one of the things where that I also want to talk about one of the things that we have discussed is that because we have a bunch of affiliates in DS domination if you are also a market extreme user we are actually going to give you access to some funnels that we are building that's going to promote both DS domination and options domination at the same time it's going to let you guys basically double your income streams immediately or more than double really and that's going to be one of the other benefits that you get as well so there is a lot of benefits you get out of us not being the owners in this new thing um, and us being actually the affiliates because it opens us up to be to actually exercise our marketing arms now Roger get Roger can get on the phone and bring in all the contacts that he has Kevin can get on there and do all of his marketing I can start doing my marketing again so we I'm pretty sure that we can we can rock this and in my opinion we can probably Across 100,000 members, the first three months in yeah. options domination. I'm pretty sure we'll actually right. cross that. Um, now, what does this mean, really, overall? This is the point that I wanted to address. What does this mean? Does this mean that we are focusing on a new thing, or we are we are doing something different now, or something like that? Absolutely not. In fact, back in July of 2013, before DS domination ever came out live. This was something that was planned and charted out and discussed in very good detail, not just between Kevin Roger and I, but was actually discussed with a lot of other people who were the first people in DS in, in DS domination. We actually explained how the next step was going to be people being able to take their investments and expanding on that. Okay? This is what that is. People will now be able to move on to the next phase, which is investment. Um, if you have attended those Tuesday night webinars, then you all know there's this chart that I usually draw out if I'm on there which goes something like this which says that if you look at the chart of the average person in their lifetime you got the chart goes something like this okay and this is their income over here and this is their age okay? this is my favorite and this chart you've ever done by the is way. not entirely oh thank you i love it um, this correlation is not entirely true what it's really talking about is the activity what happens is over here you have an unqualified person with no experience so they they're working at McDonald's and so on okay um, then they basically have more education they have more resources more experience at their disposal at this point they're make, basically moving up okay they have a job and so on this age group right here is basically the 35 to 55 age group okay this is basically when they say that people peak in their income potential on average okay obviously this doesn't apply to everybody but on average here's what happens okay and then their income goes down this is income from labor okay labor means you're actually working okay or um, uh, Roger when you eat donuts and it really hurts your stomach that's not the labor I'm talking about I'm talking about like when you do work hard you know, it's very um, confusing to me because so Labor Day is coming up and I put on a lot of weight for it and it doesn't seem to be working out. Thank you. Keep at it. Keep at it. Um, here's, here's, yes, here's what happens though. From 55 to 75, the aim that most people have that unfortunately doesn't truly come to pass for a lot of people, the aim is that from this point on, you start developing a second income. This is supposed to be 
your income from investment. Okay? That's basically the idea that people have. That I'm going to work really hard, I'm going to get educated, I'm going to get good jobs, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to move up there, then I'm going to take some of that money, I'm going to turn it into savings, and my savings are going to become my retirement system. They, they're going to sustain me through it, and it's going to leave something for my future generations as well. And those investments are going to be an income for me, instead of my constantly working. Okay, That's the idea that we have. That's the idea behind the American dream, really. Okay, It's not... It's not uh, five cars and the two kids, 2.2 kids with a dog necessarily. It's really that you have the ability to do this. Okay. Now in DST version, here's what happens. This is when you join pro, you start making an income. This is when you join elite, you start maximizing your income very quickly from that point on. Over here, you have your unleashed and monopoly. Okay, unleashed plus monopoly kick in. So now you're making all of this money from cashbacks and all these different things. You're, you're achieving the peak of the, your income. Over here is when you do Genesis, okay? And with Genesis, basically now you have a system in place that's going to sustain your income over a period of time, okay? It's going to be your business that's running by itself. And then you hope that right around here, supremacy is going to kick in, and it's going to develop an automated income for you, okay? And this is going to de develop that automated income for you and keep that going, but this is still income from labor. So your chart in DS domination doesn't look like this. It actually looks something like this. Okay? Your income doesn't go down. Like typical jobs, your income from labor doesn't go down after 55 because there is no true labor involved with DS domination. Okay? Supremacy is going to sustain your income level there. But what we can do with options is we can actually take this part, the dotted line, and we can use that as an income from investment and beyond double our income. Because we're now going to make money both from affiliate side in DS domination as well as affiliate side in options domination. Plus, we're going to be making sales over here in dropshipping. You know, this section covers dropshipping. Genesis and supremacy is not just dropshipping. That's really true e-commerce. Okay, so then we have e-commerce here in this area. And then, of course, finally, over here, we have options. And the options domination is basically going to go on the very massive scale in income for you guys. And that's at this stage. Once you get to this stage, what you have going for you is your dropshipping income, okay, DS income, which is from sales on, on eBay primarily. Um, you have your cash back kicking in, which is your income coming in from, which is basically incentive for having sold other people's products. Then you have your own products that you're sourcing. You have your Genesis Easy products, which are easy money from Genesis app, okay? Then you have your supremacy basically scaling up your income. Then you have your affiliate income in DS domination. Then you have your options trading income. You have your options referral income if you were, if you try to recruit. And then you have your options compensation plan income, which you're going to make even if you don't recruit anybody. That's the plan here. The plan is that you don't have just one basket with a few eggs in there. You have multiple baskets themselves. And you have multiple types of eggs. You have duck eggs and chicken eggs and you have every every single thing that you can eggs. And out there. Okay? So yeah, the whole idea eggs. Yes, we have chocolate or chocolate eggs. Covered eggs as well. <laughs> and we have Easter eggs that you can go hunt as well. The point the point behind this is that we have always been focused on developing something that was an all-encompassing system. That is not just, hey guys, we have this little cool little thing we figured out about eBay, let's turn this into an ebook and sell it to others. It was, let's build a platform that helps people make money, that gets them to the point of financial freedom, then let's give them a plan after that. What after the financial freedom? What happens tomorrow you get kicked off of eBay or Amazon? What do you have then? Right? We don't want to face that situation, and that most people are never going to face that situation, but it's better to be wise and not needed than to be foolish and then regret it. So what we're doing here is basically we're going to have options kick in, which is going to be your investment income at this point. Okay, it's going to be your constantly growing income from trading and a second affiliate income stream as well. And just to give tease you guys, I'm letting you know that this is not the end of it. There is more beyond that that we will probably announce next year around this time as well. But this has all been discussed since way back before DS domination was formed. In fact, DS domination was formed at that point, there was a company that was being promoted um, that was basically designed around getting people high on caffeine and uh, try to make money <laughs> with that. And it didn't work out too well. And, and the reason it didn't work out so well is because it was based around all these promises that every other MLM, MLM does, but there was no reality behind it. 
So what we decided to do, we tried to actually fix that by making a three-step system. We had a step one, which was let's give you risk-free money. Then let's make step two, which was Roger's eBay training. And at that time, we didn't have any of the software to go with it, so we did have some of the discrepancies at the time. But it was great. It's, I mean, nobody still had something as good as that any, anyway. So then we had Roger's eBay training. And then, of course, we had this third thing, which was let's sell overpriced coffee and give you illusions of freedom. Okay? Can you put a sad face on that? I think the only way we got that to happen was when people... Say it again. Add a sad face to that third one. Alrighty. Um, sad face there. So what we basically looked at was that we had all these people who were very successful. They did, they did great with this part. I mean, everybody loves risk-free money. They did great with this, and then they lost money here. Okay, that's because typically what happens in MLMs. And then the concern was that because there was such emphasis on this and all the efforts were being spent over here, we never addressed the issues that were over here. Okay, so we had our discussion, and the point was just this. The point was let's build a platform instead where we take the eBay training, we modernize it more, we update it drastically, we include all the software required to make it work really, really well for everybody else, and we give them the risk-free money options. Let's try and make it completely about the customer, and let's forget about trying to make a lot of money off of this. And let's cut off this, this coffee. They can sell coffee on eBay if they want, but let's not do this anymore. And that's basically what DS domination was. At that point, we also discussed what can we do? How are we going to make sure that people make income in the future? What's going to be their 401k or what's going to be their retirement net? And that's when we had the discussion about this. And we had we actually had another plan before options domination. There was another plan that we had that is now going to happen afterwards, uh, which has also been built out since forever. I remember building that out in October last year. But this is this is the beginning. I mean, this is awesome because this is supposed to be our one-year anniversary, and we're kind of revisiting how we began. But this is kind of how we began, and it was, yeah. it was awesome. The results that we got and what happened, and then basically the coffee people hated Roger about it and didn't like him too much after that. Overall, overall, I think we, we did a very good thing by focusing on this kind of a actual logical system instead of, a, hey, guys, let's you just need to sell some coffee and you'll, make, you'll be millionaires. So anyways, that's it.